welcome and welcome back to another vlog of black and white in Alaska. We are so happy that you are here. Willkommen und willkommen zurück zu einem weiteren Vlog von Black and White in Alaska. Es ist so schön, euch hier zu sehen. is actually cooking. Mm -hmm. He told me he wouldn't cook, start cooking till six o'clock. It's 5.50, 10 minutes too I'm, early. I'm starting right now. I know. He has the tendency to serve dinner quite late. Ah. Anyhow, we have to fill you in. Um, a lot of things have happened in the last couple of weeks. What happened? Well, you went to Anchorage. Oh, yeah. Forgot about it, almost. Yeah. Craig went to Anchorage. Short trip to Anchorage. Business trip. Um, yeah. Our kiddo bought a property. Unbelievable. And fall is here. School started and fall has arrived. Bought some property up there in the Appalachians there. No, I'm just kidding. Not the Appalachians. But similar to uh, maybe different, worse. Way up there, so it's gonna be a hell of a drive to get up there. As Craig was on his way to Anchorage, I picked up a friend and together we drove up in the mountains for a short hike and more blueberry picking. We recently had some rain, the smoke was gone and it was a rare moment when the sun was out. We knew these were the last late summer days before fall would arrive. I tried to wear as many summer clothes as possible to expose my skin to the sun. We have to enjoy each sunny moment during the late summer season up here in Alaska. Back to Anchorage, just me and a couple of guys from the company, and uh, we're at the brewery right now. I made some blueberry waffles on my last break day and enjoyed my afternoon coffee on the deck. The summer was indeed a time for me to reset. We tackled a few house projects. One of the big ones was to paint our house, but intentionally left time to recharge. We have become such a busy society that it is sometimes hard to be lazy without feeling guilty. It is so vital to create space to feel and just to be. Being unbusy allows us to think, process our emotions and take care of our needs. A 
and then it was time to go back to school. This was quite an early wake up to get used to again. The next few days were hard. It took a while to get back into the swing of things. I do not usually sleep in, but being up and ready to leave the house are definitely two different things. August brings not only the start of school, but also an abundance of food in the garden. The afternoons and evenings I spent harvesting, cooking and blanching. Craig started to take a few online classes that kept him busy. Are you back? Steal some greens out of my basket. Also set it up next on the to counter. It. Yeah. No, I just have a better vision right here. You have all this lettuce and stuff everywhere. You didn't bother to rinse this out at well, all. I was not done, okay? Hmm. Anyhow, Craig somehow can only see how many sausages we have when they are on that side of the kitchen. I was in the military. On this side. I'm used to a layout. That's what we call a layout. See exactly what we have. We know if we need more or you, what you don't have, or all these things, you know. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> so, I wanna, we're gonna... See what, I wanna see what sausage we have. Okay, that's we're all. We're gonna I lay know. out the sausage lay now. Out. Sausage lay our out. equipment, apparently, and right here. So, Craig is happy. Keep your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> all right. <laughs> up here or what are you doing too much energy this morning because we have not been out yet because it is quite a bit of raining and Logan um, just throwing toys around um, pulling rocks and yeah that's what's happening right now it didn't stop raining that day. We still visited the newly purchased property. We all know there's no bad weather, just the wrong clothes. Okay, rubber boots are on. Next thing, rain jacket, and off we go. After three years of hard work and saving, our oldest bought a property independently. We couldn't be more proud. The choices we make today shape our tomorrow. At this point, the plan is to start building a cabin next summer and from there, eventually later on, a house. But who knows what the future brings. <music> We are here at the property and gonna walk down to check out a good location 
for a future cabin. out here with all the birch trees and uh, yeah super pretty so yeah wir haben gerade um, mal uh, eine paar Faden abgesteckt für eine Hütte die hier gebaut werden soll und dann um, soll aber noch mal uh, vermessen werden das Grundstück oder so dass wir genau wissen, wo die ähm, Grundstücksgrenzen verlaufen. Das sieht man nämlich nicht so. Ähm, das kann man, diese Mar Markierung kann man nicht so sehen, ähm, weil jetzt alles überwachsen ist. Und ähm, ja, das dürfte kein Problem sein. Es sind nämlich sieben Acre. Das sind einige Quadratmeter. Und dann laufen wir das Ganze jetzt nochmal zurück ab und... Äh, Gucken mal, wo so die Einfahrt hinkommen könnte. So, we just marked um, a potential um, area for a future cabin. The, the, the property will be surveyed to really make sure that we are within property lines. It's almost seven acres, so pretty easy to stay within property lines if you know where they are and um, now we are going back towards the street and, and brainstorm some ideas for a driveway We will see you next time. In the meanwhile, take care of yourself and your loved ones. Sending love and peace from Alaska.